Hello, how are you? I'm good. My name is Rachel Mbogwa. Welcome to my channel, Heart Heart Clinic. Thank you for subscribing. But if you haven't, please click the red button. Thank you so much for your support. Today we are looking at how to inform children about divorce or even separation. Forcing children to choose the parent to live with is so ungodly and inhuman because children share 50% 50, 50 of each parent. This information should come from both parents instead of hearsay. Like the children are hearing, where is Papa? Do not come again. Allow the children to understand what is happening. Then what should you do? Below are a list of things that you should do. Call the children for a meeting. Preferably place is the home, a place that they are very familiar. And do it together. Whether you're in terms or not in terms, let the father and the mother sit together as a family and discuss. Let the both parents express what is happening. Inform the children, I and your father have differences because we are not able to resolve. And this has caused us to separate. That means we will live in different places. Dad will shift to another house and we will be left here. But you as children, you are allowed to visit dad occasionally. So feel free to call, visit, or even to text that you will be able to communicate with dad. Please note to mention that none of the children has caused them to separate. It is the parent's issue, but not the children's issue. Number two, explain to the children what divorce or separation is. It is a season as time where two people that lived together have gotten to a disagreement that cannot be resolved by them being together and they have to be apart for them to maintain peace. That is divorce or separation. Please explain to the children what that means for them. Number three, involve the children in your decision making. Like if you want to shift the house, allow them to uh, uh, actively be involved in the activity of shifting. Let them choose if they want to live in this place or the other place or they prefer their current home. At allowing the children to be involved in the shifting activity help them go through the morning. Because you see, they are losing their one, of, one of their parents and they are feeling the burden of them. So them being involved in the shifting help them also buy or get to express their pain and their sorrow in this. So please do not just pick the children at night, they are waking up in another place and they are wondering what happened to our home. And they are being told, don't call that man. Don't call that. They do not understand. They are not the cause of your problem. Allow them to understand what is divorce. And if you are shifting, allow them to be involved in the activities of shifting. Number four, give children opportunity to express themselves. They too have feelings. They too want to get to know, I loved daddy. I would have preferred to go live with daddy than with mom. Or I would have preferred to live with mom than daddy. Please give them opportunity that they can be able to express their feeling. And this is best done when you're having a meeting together. That one will be able to ask, Kamau, what do you feel about this issue? And how can we be of help to you? And in this particular case, they will be able to express whether they're feeling sad or their preference. Number five, answer your children's question simply and correctly. Like give them the truth. Do not lie. You know it is this man or it is this woman who never listened to me. Do not bring your differences to the children. Give them opportunity to ask, Daddy, why are you leaving us? And Daddy will generally say, I'm not leaving you. I will be with you. If you need a call, you can come visit me. I am not uh, leaving you, but I will be with you. It's just that we will not be in the same house. This brings assurance that the children are left feeling we are not losing daddy. It's just that daddy will be living in a different place or it's just that mommy will be living in a different place than we are living. And if we want to meet them, they are easily accessible and available for us. And we are not the cause. Let them know the future arrangement. You know divorce and separation comes with a lot of changes. Because if the resources were, were pulled together, there is a given school that those children used to attend. There is a given activity that those children used to do together, either with one of the parents like cycling or going to swimming with the other parents where the other one support in a different way. Let them know the future arrangement. 
especially in areas that affect them. Like if there be an instance of house shifting, school shifting, a change of schedule, please them, let them know that even if we will not be living in the same place, we will still be going for swimming on Fridays, if that was your routine. You will still be attending the same school, or there is a shift in the school that you'll be attending because of one, two, three. If one parent used to pick the children, and now they have separated, they may not be able to do that, and the parent feels that there is need to shift them from another school, please let the children know the arrangement, that there will be a shift in your school, and from now henceforth, this parent will not be picking you, this, uh, this parent will be picking you. And assure them that actually their future is certain, that they will not feel feared. They will not feel fear that actually we don't know what future holds for us. Will we be able to complete our high school? Will we be able to complete our education? But just give them surety that actually we are there to support you, to see you to completion of your education, to see you enjoy life just as used to be. Number seven, it is important that your parents take responsibility. You've witnessed parents who blame each other and they don't blame each other in front of uh, the other. One will tell children, it is your father that is bad. The other one will tell children, it is your mother who is disobedient. Let parents take responsibility. That actually we will not blame each other in front of our children. We both are contributors in this separation. So as parents, allow yourself to take the blame and inform the children that it is not their cause. They are not the one that caused the separation. Each of the parents taking responsibility that in this divorce or even separation, saying that it is not the children that have caused the separation, it is the parents that are as a result of this separation, but children are not contributed in whichever way. Taking responsibility helps the children grow, knowing they are not the one that caused this problem, and they are not blaming themselves. No, they grow knowing both parent lovers. It's just that they had differences that could not be resolved for them to still remain, to live together. The most important of them all, if you'll forget anything else, reassure the children that you will both of you be their parents. Regardless of whether you're living together or not, this assurance will always help the children get to know that actually they are not losing either of the parents, but you are both their parent and you love them so much and nothing will change that in regardless of whether one partner moves on with life and get married or the other one gets another family the assurance that you love the parent the children and you will support them in and out that is all for today my name is rachel mbogwa till next time bye bye